What's up? We're gonna be showing you guys how to do some of the more advanced techniques uh, that you learn uh, as being a pyromancer for a long time. I've been playing for over a year and uh, I hang out with a lot of the players that are in the competitive scene and talk to other content creators. And there's been a few standout techniques that might not be as obvious to some of you new players that, uh, that we've kind of figured out that's been very helpful. So I'm gonna show you guys seven advanced pyromancer techniques that will send you guys way over the competition and get you winning games right here, right now, real easy. All right, so to do the Phoenix Dash, you guys, you need to be your uh, unlock your level two skill, which is Firefly. It gives you a short dash and flight when you go through your firewall. Uh, and if you have the dash rune and you jump up and you land behind and you use your dash as soon as you hit the ground, the down Phoenix Dash is exactly the same as the Phoenix Dash. However, when you're dropping down to the ground, you hold crouch and it will give you a farther dashing distance and a faster speed boost. Uh, in fact, it's so fast that the camera kind of loses your, your player for a second. So we're gonna go ahead and try to show you guys how to do that right quick. Let's see if I can hit, hit it the first time. So this is the downed Phoenix Dash. There we go, we did it the first time, baby. So as you can see, it's a little bit farther. It's quite a bit faster and it's not really that much more difficult. All right, so the next thing that we're gonna do is called the impact uh, cloud, the impact cloud. So you guys might already know that there's interactions between toxic and fire, right? So in, for instance, if you throw down a flame, you throw your cloud down, it's gonna blow up when it hits the fire, right? It makes perfect sense. And so what I'm calling the impact cloud is you put your firewall down first, and then you throw your cloud through the flames, right? And if you watch, when that cloud lands, Boom, it, it explodes. So it's it's already pre-ignited in the air. And it doesn't look any different to somebody that might see it coming at them. So they won't expect it to explode. So yeah, this is the campfire. You can uh, just aim downward, it looks like. It's a lot easier. And then you can just press jump to cancel the flight. And basically, uh, you can just camp within your fire. Uh, it's really, you gotta be careful for anybody that wants to use something like a toxic cloud because you can get DF'd real, real hard, real, real easy. Um, but if they don't have toxic and, uh, and you need to in a pinch, you can just go in here and just hide in your flames, dude. This is one that I've kind of developed on my own and this is for you guys that are pyromancers that are trying to, uh, counter the frost players. Uh, this one I'm calling the the Comet cover and it's I've found it very very effective against pushing Frostborn players that are at a distance. So what I like to do is I will shoot a few fireballs and then I'll fly in directly behind my fireball. And so what that does is it gives me gives me kind of like a shield in front of me. This is number six on the advanced pyromancer techniques. This is called fireworks. And it is a way to extremely, extremely overpower your opponent while saving mana and dealing very high damage and being mobile. The way that you do it is you lay your flame wall down, you must have your firefly skill active, and you just go through it clicking like a maniac. By the time that you end your firewall, you will have shot three fi fireballs and have not used any of your mana whatsoever. This is fireworks. Oh baby, oh baby, oh baby. The last one that I'm gonna show you is kind of a favorite technique of mine. It's not particularly difficult at all. It's not particularly huge brain. What I like to do is when I'm flying at people, before you get to your, uh, your opponent, you can shoot fireballs. So, um, you can instead use flight to quickly turn and fly directly into their face and shoot them with a fireball. It is called the Timmy Torpedo. If you infect your flame wall with toxic, look how much more damage and how much quicker it, it kills. I mean, just look at that. Look at that. It killed, it killed three of them that quick.